Okay, so uh, welcome na naman sa ating uh, virtual uh, classroom. Welcome to our channel. So, dito nabibigay tayo ng mga lecture videos, tutorial videos on uh, different um, engineering subjects. So, kung bago lang kayo dito, uh, uh, yun, yun yung mga <laughs> binibigay natin. So, uh, pwede kayong mag-subscribe kung uh, gusto niyo yung mga content ng uh, channel natin. And, lalo na pag, ano, lalo na pag uh, engineering students kayo or ikaw. <laughs> So, yun. Uh, lesson 6 na tayo ng ating uh, integral uh, calculus class. So, for this uh, particular video, pag-uusapan natin yung tungkol sa definite integral. So, yung definite integral ay na-introduce na natin sa lesson 1. Uh, we differentiated this one, the definite integral from an indefinite integ integral. So, ang kaibahan lang is that uh, sa definite integral, known yung ating boundaries, so yung limits natin, upper and lower limits. And as compared sa indefinite integral, yun yung hindi known, no? yung boundaries, yung bounds. So, kailangan ng uh, constant of integration na C. Kasi nga, hindi, hindi known yung uh, boundaries ng ating uh, integral. So, yung antiderivative na makukuha, hindi siya exact na value. So, equation siya. So, kailangan ma-integration, no? constant ang integration. So, dito sa definite, known na value yung makukuha kasi known yung upper and lower limits natin. So, anyway, uh, ang definition ng ating uh, definite integral is that uh, if uh, f is a function defined at a closed interval a, b, yun nga no, yung bounds natin, interval a, b, then the definite integral of f from a to b denoted by ito, the integral from the lower limit to the upper limit of f of x dx is given by this one, no? Uh, integral of a from a to b of um, a function with respect to x is uh, ganito, no? So, pag tingin pala na equation, wala na, no? So, ko na tayo dyan. So, anyway, uh, pag yan yung titignan mo lagi, lalo kang matatakot, no? Pero, actually, ang definite uh, integral ay madali lang naman yan, no? So, if a function is continuous on the closed interval a, b, then it is integrable on that particular boundary or that particular na interval. So, for example, yan, no? Ito, mas mapapabilis nating uh, may imagine. So, integral of um, x dx from 0 to 3. So, again, no? Ito yung limits natin, 0 to 3. So, meron kang uh, lower limit and upper limit of uh, x dx. Integral of x dx equals yun, uh, ito yung uh, antiderivative ng x, power rule, x squared over 2. Tapos, i-evaluate mo lang itong uh, antiderivative from 0 to 3. So, ngayon, pag-evaluate, i-substitute lang natin yung 3, the upper limit, minus the lower limit. Dito sa function na nakuha natin. Okay, so yan. 3 squared over 2, minus 0 squared over 2, equals 9 over 2. So, ibig sabihin, ito na ngayon yung value ng x dx from 0 to 3. So, ano yung, ano yung nare-represent ngayon ng 9 over 2 na value? Ito uh, yun, no? So, kung i-graph natin yung f of x equals x or y equals x, ganito yung magiging graph niya. No? So, if, if uh, x equals 1, therefore f of x equals 1. If uh, x equals 2, f of x equals 2. And so on and so forth. No? Pero yung uh, hanap natin dito ngayon is... Uh, Integral of uh, x dx from 0 to 3. Ibig sabihin, from x equals 0 to x equals 3. So, nabanggit na natin sa lesson 1 pa lang na common application ng integral is to determine yung area. Area, volume, surface area. So, ang representation ngayon ng 9 over 2 is the area bounded by the curve. Ang curve na f of, f of x equals x bounded by the curve from 0 to Three. So, ito na yung, ito yung area na yan, yung triangle. So, ibig sabihin, if ang equation ng curve mo, which is, which is, uh, which in this case is a line, f of x equals x from 0 to 3, ang value ng uh, area mo is 9 over 2. So, yun yung kagandahan ng definite integral kasi meron ka, meron ka talaga na kukuhang exact value. So, exact value for area, volume, surface area, etc. etc. So, yun yung um, definite integral. So, yun lang, no? Uh, 
madali lang naman siyang itindihan. So, meron din tayong mga several, um, ito, first theorem na ito, no? Meron pang kasunod. So, theorem 2, if A is greater than B, so what if daw mas malaki yung upper limit? No. Um, mas maliit yung, or mas malaki yung lower limit kaysa upper limit. So, therefore, magiging baliktad yung, uh, yung pag-evaluate uh, mo dun sa antiderivative. Magiging baliktad. So, ibig sabihin, magne-negative yung answer. So, ito yun. So, if uh, the lower limit is greater than the upper limit, di ba nga kasi pag naalala mo sa, naalala niya sa example 1, upper limit, substitute muna, tapos subtract mo ng lower limit. So, what if mas malaki pala yung lower limit kaysa upper limit? So, magne-negative yung answer. So, ito yan. No? So, 0 to 3 is just a negative of um, 0 to 3. I, I think this is... Uh, this one is uh, actually 3 to 0. This one is 0. I know, 3. So, dapat ito ay 3. At saka ito ay 0. So, dyan na. Ayan. Okay. So, ito yan, no? So, pag malaki yung uh, lower limit mo compared sa upper limit, kabalik ta siya or negative siya itong um, ito. So, uh, just like uh, this uh, theorem stated. Kasi nga, mas malaki na yung upper, uh, lower limit kaysa upper limit. And then, you just have to evaluate. Tapos yan. Yan yung sagot. Negative 9. Okay? So, the area bounded by the curve represented by x squared from... Uh, 3 to 0 is negative 9. Ibig sabihin, paatras. No? From 3 to 0. Okay? So, pareho lang siya ng theorem 2. Ngayon lang is mas malaki yung lower limit kaysa upper limit. Okay? So, theorem 3, if um, f of a exists, then, so, kung pareho lang ng limit from a to a, ibig sabihin, 0 yung area. So, walang area ang makukuha kasi pareho lang naman ng limit. So, for example, 1 to 1, it's mean, walang, hindi ka gumalaw, no? Dun sa curve mo, hindi ka gumalaw. Dun ka pa rin steady, no? So, walang, walang area yung na, walang ang area na cover. Kasi, ha, dun, hanggang dun ka lang, no? Dun ka nag-start, dun ka rin nag-end. So, yan. Theorem 4, if the function f is uh, integrable in the closed interval a, b, and if k is a, any constant then, so like uh, theorem 2 ng ating lesson 1, lesson 1 ba, no? So, pag merong function na kasama ng uh, function, pag merong constant na kasama ng function, so, ilalabas mo lang yung constant. So, yun lang din, no? Basic pa rin na uh, integral or integration na theorem. Na pag may constant ka, ilalabas mo. Then, theorem 5, if the function f and g is uh, integrable in the closed interval a, b, then uh, f plus g is integrable on a, b, and, eto, no? Pwede mong ihiwalay, Tapos, isa-isahin mong i-integrate using the same interval. So, yun. Example tayo. Uh, for example, ito na. Meron kang f of x uh, equals for x squared. Meron kang g of x equals 2x. Meron ka pang, pwede natin sabihin, h of x equals 5. So, yun lang. Ang sinasabi ng theorem 5 is that uh, pwede mong ipaghiwalay. No? Pwede mong ihiwalay si isang, itong first term, the second term, the third term. Tapos, i-integrate mo, hiwa-hiwala using the given na interval. Okay? 0 to 3, 0 to 3, 0 to 3. So, evaluate mo yan. Lalabas mo yung uh, constant, labas constant. Tapos, ito, magiging x lang. So, syempre, itong lower limit, 0 naman yan. So, walang value. So, generation na natin, 3 cube, 3 squared, and then 3. So, meron sanang minus 0 yan, minus 0, minus 0. Since, uh, wala namang value yan. So, generation na natin. This is a 3 cube, that's 27, divided by 3, 9 times 4, 36. This one, magkakansal yung 2, magiging 9. So, 36 minus 9, that's 27, plus 15 equals 42. So, yun yung value ngayon nung uh, the integral of uh, this particular function bounded from 0 to 3. Okay? So, yan. And then we have... Last theorem, theorem 6, if the function f is uh, integrable in the closed intervals a, b, a, c, and c, b, then you can do this. Now, for example, you have a curve, y equals f of x, tapos meron kang uh, tatlong boundaries dito, a, c, and b. So, pwede mong i-integrate na 
Ito lang muna. So, from A to C, which is uh, represented by this one. And then, pwede mo ding idagdag integrate from C to B. Okay? So, which is also represented by this one. So, ang total na area na makukuha mo from A to B is yung integral from A to C and the integral from C to B. So, ganun lang, no? Um... Uh, Itong, itong mga theorems na ito, uh, pwede natin sabihin actually na, yun, no, makikita natin dito na ito talaga yung concept again ng integration. Summing up smaller areas para makakuha ka ng bigger area. Na. For example na lang ito, no? itong theorem 6, isa sum up mo yung uh, area from A to C and area from C to B para makuha mo yung buong area from A to B. So, ganun talaga yung ginagawa ng integration. For example na lang, if liliit-liitin mo pa ito, na, uh, maliliit na strips na dx equivalent to dx. So, i-add up mo lahat ng maliliit na strips na area dito ha, para makuha mo yung uh, area from A to B. Kaya yung uh, symbol ng integral, kung mapapansin nyo, para siyang S, which is uh, somehow similar to sum. Di ba? Kasi nga, kinukuha mo yung summation ng lahat ng areas dun, bounded by that particular curve from interval 1 to interval 2. So, yun. Yun na lahat para sa definite integral. Uh, I think, uh, sapat na yata no, na makita yung mga theorems. Anyway, yung mga theorems naman is uh, same, more or less same lang dun sa mga theorems na nagdaan. Dun sa mga basic integration natin na theorem. So, ang mga sample problems natin dito, yung mga uh, indefinite na integral na may C, Ganun lang din yung process ng pag-integrate ng definite integral. Ang difference lang, meron ka ng value to substitute uh, dun sa makukuha mong antiderivative. So, meron ka ng upper and lower limit. So, uh, lagi lang tandaan na ang pag-subtract ay laging ito, no, B minus A. So, F of B minus F of A para makuha mo yung value. So, again, yun. Yun na yun para sa definite um, Integral. Sa, sana medyo ano, no, uh, clear yung audio natin kasi maraming nagdadaan ng mga sasakyan. So, anyway, uh, yun. Yun yun para sa lesson 6 natin. So, again, kung may mga tanong or may mga clarifications, um, comment lang or PM. So, yun. Uh, sana ulit eh, meron kayo natutunan and yun. Yun na, no, may, may mga dumadaan na napapaharurot ng mga kung ano naman. So, again, uh, salamat uh, ulit sa yun, pagsama sa atin dito, panonood and pakikinig. And see you again sa next video natin.